Hi, this is Vasavi from At Home Tuition. Uh, in the previous class, we just uh, we learnt about the sectors, right? And finding out the area of the sector and the length of the arc. So here, I would discuss with you the segment of the circle, okay? So first, let me tell you what the segment means. The segment of a circle is the region bounded by a chord and the arc subtended by the chord, okay? So you have a circle, okay? And you have a center here. Now, you have a chord also, chord AB here, right? The chord divides the circle uh, into two portions. They are not equal portions, okay? Since it is not, the chord is not the diameter. Uh, you have one bigger uh, portion on top and the smaller one at the bottom. So these two portions are called, so the, the portion bounded by the uh, chord and the arc, right? The, see, this chord and the smaller arc together will form the minor arc because that is the smaller portion and this arc and this bigger arc, the major arc, will give you the major segment, okay? So, I hope you understood what the segment means. For calculating the area of the segment, we don't have any direct approach, but we can use this formula here, which I have mentioned. See, uh, instead of calling it major segment and the minor segment, we can also name the segment, okay? So, this minor segment, I would like to call it as APB and the major segment is AQB, okay? So, you can make out the difference. This one is APB. You look at the arc this side. It is APB, arc APB, right? So, the segment is arc, segment APB. And this side, you have the major arc as AQB. And uh, so, the major segment, I would call it as um, uh, segment AQB, okay? To find out this shaded portion, okay, that shows the segment APB. What I do is, first, I would find the area of the sector OAPB. So, that we have already learned how to find the area of the sector, right? So, when you find the area of the sector, you get the area of this whole portion. From that, if you just subtract the triangle AOB, you are left with the a, uh, the segment APB, right? So that is what we are going to do. So you, what you do is you find the area of the sector, take away the area of the triangle will give you the area of the segment, okay? Now that you found out the area of the minor segment, in case if they ask you to find out the major segment too, you needn't find, uh, you needn't do all this all again, okay? Finding the area of the other uh, sector and then the area of the triangle and all is not needed all you need to do is find the area of the circle from that you take away the area of the minor segment then you get the major segment okay fine so let us do some problems on it find the area of the segment a by b that is shaded here okay the blue portion if the radius of the circle is 21 centimeters and the central angle AOB is given as 120 degrees, okay? And they've also asked you to use the pi value as 22 over 7. So, the radius is given as 21 centimeters, right? And also, angle AOB is given, fine. So, that's given as 120 degrees. To find the area of sector, I told you first itself, to find the area of uh, the segment, what you do, you find the area of the sector. So, I write area of sector. Take away the area of triangle, right? So, you need to find all this area of sector and the area of triangle. Now, I am going to do the area of sector. That's very easy. We know the formula for area of sector. Theta over 360. So, this is theta over 360 times pi r square okay so i'm just substituting the values the theta i we know it is 120 degree so that's 120 over 360 times the pi they've asked you to take in take it as 22 over 7 times r is 21 so that's 21 times 21 
you can either do the calculation manually or use the calculator if permitted and so we get the answer as 400 when you solve this it gives you the answer 462 centimeters squared okay the unit you need to be careful since it is the area it is centimeter squared yeah now you need to find the area of the triangle right so this triangle is not an equilateral triangle if so we could have used the equilateral formula since here this angle is 120 degree definitely the other two angles are not going to be i mean the three angles are not going to be 60 each right from the center if you draw a straight line to the chord okay you know then it bisects the chord at 90 degree it's a perpendicular bisector and also the since these two triangles are similar triangles this angle will be equal to this so you can take this as 60 degree okay the side 60 and in the side 60 the angle is divided into two halves now you just look i i named this as d okay now let's in triangle aod i am going to take triangle in triangle aod i am going to use little bit of trigonometry here to get the values because we need to know what is the base and the height of the triangle right so the base is going to be ab so to find that first let me find out what is ad so i am i need to find out ad and uh, the side which we know is 21 and the angle is 60 so this is like uh, opposite by hypotenuse right 21 is a hypotenuse side so in triangle this i would say sin opposite sin 60 is equal to opposite side which is ad over the hypotenuse side which is 21 okay so this implies that your ad is equal to 21 times sin 60 find the value of sin 60 and multiply them sin 60 is root 3 by 2 or you can use your calculator to find out that so that would give you that ad is equal to 21 root 3 over 2 okay but for the base of the triangle is ab so i have just found out what is ab so my ab is equal to 2 times ad okay so twice the ad so that is 2 times 21 root 3 over 2 so this 2 and 2 gets gets cancelled so i got it as 21 root 3 okay so we got the base let me find out the height also height is od right so now to find od uh, i would write cos because that's adjacent side right so cos 60 equals od over 21 okay so cos 60 is half so that's 21 times half is equal to your od so i take my od as 21 over 2 now i got the base i got the height now let me find out the area of the triangle okay so area of triangle is equal to half base times height that is nothing but half your base is ab and the height of the triangle is going to be od right so that will give you half ab is 21 root 3 and OD is twenty one over two. Okay, and the answer for that would be three eighty one point nine. Okay, when you calculate, you would get it as three hundred and so area of triangle. Now we have got the area of triangle as three eighty one point nine centimeter square. Finally, 
now I got the sector and the area of triangle. So next the area of segment is equal to as per the formula it is area of sector take away area of triangle. Okay. Okay. So that would be like 462 minus area of the triangle. We have got it here. So that is 381.9. Okay. So you get the answer as 80 approximately. I just make it approximate value. Approximately. Okay. Centimeter square. Sorry. Yeah. This would be the area of the segment. Did you get that? Simple. I repeat. First what you do is you find the area of the sector and then you use the formula and find out the area of this triangle. For that I first found out the base and the height and I did with the formula half base times height. And then to get the area of the segment that is the shaded portion I just subtracted the uh, area of sector take away area of the triangle. Okay. Yeah I have got the second problem here. A round table cover has six equal designs. So these designs on the side, okay. If the radius of the cover is 28 centimeter, find the cost of making the design. Okay, if I join the opposite vertices, you can see that you have. So this is a hexagon, right? And we know hexagon is made up of six equilateral triangles, right? So we know all these angles are 60 here, 60 here because they are equilateral and 60 here too. Okay. So now let us find out uh, the design, the area of the designs alone. Okay. For that what I should do is let us take one design here. So I'm going, let me name it like O and here I put it as A and B. Okay. Area of sector. A O B okay that is equal to theta theta is 60 here 60 over 360 pi pi let us take it as 22 over 7 r squared r is given as 28 right so this is given as 28 so it's 28 times 28 so this will give you 410.7 okay when I did the calculation I got it as 410.7 centimeter square okay now let us find out the area of triangle area of triangle AOB since it is an equilateral triangle use the equilateral triangle formula that would be easier so it is root 3 by 4 a square right and the A here is 28, the radius, right? So that will give you root 3 over 4 times 28 times 28. So you are left with the answer. When you solve this, you get 339.5 centimeters square. Now, you are to find out the area of sector. I mean, the area of the segment here, right? segment is equal to area of the sector that is 410.7 take away uh, area of the triangle which is 339.5 right so that would give you when you subtract you get 71.2 centimeters square okay this is the area of one segment so area you have such six segments right so area of six segments. So only then you get the design, right? Area of the design. So that would be six times 71.2. Okay. So that will give you 427.2 centimeters square. But in the question, if you go through the question, you will find, find the cost of making the design at the rate of 35 paise per centimeter square. Okay. So let us find out the cost. So here the cost would be therefore total cost 
for the design is equal to 427.2 times the rate which is 0 0.35 okay so this will give you rupees 149.52 you can say or rupees 150 approximately so remember once again I repeat to find the area of the segment, all you need to do is, you have to find the area of the corresponding sector minus the area of the triangle, you get area of the segment. Thank you. See you in the next class. Bye.